Welcome back. In our discussion of aeronautical decision making, we talked about the use of all available resources. Now, in the last couple of years, the last decade or so, technically advanced aircraft and more automation for small aircraft have arrived on the scene. This really adds to the resources available to a pilot. These resources can be very valuable as I manage my risk and hazards and it, it, they all assist me with my ability to make good sound aeronautical decisions. A part of this is primary flight display PFDs and multifunction flight display MFDs. We're starting to see more and more of glass uh, in small general aviation cockpits. Now this is interesting because that additional information are valuable resources to pilots. Take a look at a PFD. It looks something like this. It's all of the traditional flight instruments on one display. A very fantastic piece of avionics that gives me a lot of information in one place. The multifunction flight display looks something like this. Also an excellent resource allows the pilot to access and see graphically the picture of the flight. Now the advantage here of course is those additional resources. The um, information I have at my fingertips. That's fantastic. One of the key disadvantages to these technically advanced aircraft is that they cause us to start to stare at the glass. Our eyes are inside. We're not looking outside to clear the area and be conscious of other traffic. The other thing that may happen is we become what the FAA calls in their uh, Advanced Avionics Handbook the PIC Passenger in Command. What that means is these advanced avionics are flying me instead of me flying them. So in order not to be the passenger in command, I want to be the pilot in command. I need to understand all the information that beautiful PFD and that gorgeous MFD are supplying to me and manage that information, not become a slave to it. I want to be the PIC, not the PIC. The pilot in command, not the passenger in command. All right, that's aeronautical decision making. Let's wrap up this unit like we do every one of them with a couple of review questions. All right, here we are. See if you can define single pilot resource management. Just write down a simple two or three uh, sentence definition. All right, number two. See if you could name several or maybe all five of the hazardous attitudes, at least see if you could name a couple and their anecdotes. Number three, could you name one of those SRM checklists we use before or during flight? And number four, name some benefits of technically advanced aircraft and name some disadvantages of the technically advanced aircraft. Well, that's it for ADM, folks. Thanks. See you next time.